hello friends today in this lecture we will discuss about prokaryotic gene regulation and one of the best model like operon that depicts about this prokaryotic gene regulation and how it is regulated we will discuss in this lecture today so prokaryotic gene regulation mostly occurs at the level of transcription most form of this gene regulation usually occurs at the level of transcription this this gene regulation are usually mediated by gene regulatory proteins okay which will binds with the regulatory sequence present in the dna now let us suppose this is your dna okay in this dna there are regulatory genes which will code let us suppose this is a regulatory gene now this will code for gene regulatory proteins and these gene regulatory proteins can be of two types either they are activator or they are the repressor okay now both of these both of this activator or this repressor will go and bind to its gene regulatory sequence okay so don't confuse these two terms gene regulatory genes are those genes that codes for these regulatory proteins and these regulatory proteins will go and bind to the regulatory sites so they will go and bind to the regulatory sequence such as promoter sequence of the dna okay where uh, rna polymerase usually sits so based on that they have two function either this regulatory protein will activate your dna transcription and in this case they will be known as your positive regulators okay because they are increasing the activity of transcription they will also be known as your positive regulators positive regulators and repressor will inhibit the transcription and in that case they will be known as your negative regulators so how it works let's see here so here we can see a dna in which there is a regulatory gene a promoter a operator and this xyz gene all of these genes are lying under the same promoter which is usually seen in prokaryotes and here we can see that this regulatory gene will code for a protein okay this protein will go and bite at the regulatory sequence such as the operator region okay now this rna polymerase will have no access to transcribe this gene so basically this operator is inhibiting the transcription here so they are the repressor okay so such kind of regulation by this repressor is also known as your negative regulation while for positive regulation we will see in the next slide so here our transcription is off while for positive regulation we will see here the regulatory gene will will code for a protein this protein will go and bind at a sequence near promoter sites now when it will bind to the sequence near promoter site it will recruit this rna polymerase to the promoter region and your transcription will occur so transcription in this case will be on and this protein here will be activated and the kind of regulation mediated by this protein is your positive regulation okay so prokaryotic gene expression occur in a polycystronic system means polycystron means that this gene a b c d all of them are located within or under the same promoter a single promoter is responsible for the transcription of all these genes because all of them are located downstream of this single promoter while monocystronic which is usually seen in eukaryotes we have we see that a single gene is located under a single promoter while in case of prokaryotes a multiple gene is located under a single promoter so usually expression occur in prokaryotes through polycystronic means okay so let us discuss about this model lac operon in details so lac operons usually consist of three structural genes lac z lac y and lac a 
these genes are located under a single promoter P they are polycystonic and they are transcribed as a single RNA okay so they are transcribed as a single RNA this lag Z gene usually codes for beta galactosidase protein lag Y codes for permease and this lag A codes for transacetylase now the function of this beta galactosidase is it splits lactose basically it catabolizes lactose okay to monosaccharides such as glucose lactose is a disaccharide so it will catabolize this lactose into your glucose so that cell can use this glucose for glycolysis path and they can generate some energy okay and permease will allow the cell to take up lactose from the environment lactose itself cannot enter inside the cell okay so suppose this is a cell and lactose are present here so for this lactose to enter inside the cell there must be a pore so that it can enter so this lactose permease basically forms a channel through which this lactose is taken from the environment inside the cell where they can be catabolized and used for bacterial several purposes hmm. so let's move forward so what are the conditions to activate this lac operon lac operons are usually activated under two important condition firstly when there is the presence of lactose second when there is absence of glucose we will discuss both of this point in details so presence of lactose is obviously necessary to activate this lac operon in absence usually low level of transcription occurs mostly uh, the operon is shut off and in the absence and in the absence of glucose we will discuss in the next few slides in details so what happen when there is no lactose when there is no lactose presence a regulatory gene such as i codes for a protein okay now this protein will go and bind to the operator region when it will bind to the operator region the rna polymerase will have no access to transcribe this gene that means this protein here this operator in this case the protein which binds to operator in this case usually acting as a repressor so it means the operon is negatively regulated because in the absence of lactose when it is not required to on this lac operon this lac repressor go and bind to this operator region and rna polymerase cannot starts the transcription in such case your transcription is off note when there is no lactose but what will happen if lactose is present when lactose is present the lactose <coughs> will taken inside the cell as i have told you inside the cell this lactose will be taken by lactose permease lactose permease will form a channel so that this lactose can enter so inside this cell the lactose will go and this regulatory gene i will be produced so this lactose inside the cell will interact with this beta galactosidase enzyme beta galactosidase enzyme will modify this lactose to form allolactose okay so beta lactose beta galactoside will modify the lactose this is and this is your allolactose so this allolactose will go and bind to the repressor okay when it will bind to the repressor it will induce a conformational change within the repressor as a result of which this repressor will not bind to this operator okay so bind and as a result your and as a result of which RNA polymerase can go to the promoter bind and transcribe this gene to produce this beta galactosidase permease and transacetylase so in presence of lactose transcription usually occurs and this operon is also an inducible operon why because 
under normal condition it is usually switched off a very low basal level of transcription occur okay so under normal condition it is usually switched off switched off okay when lactose is present lactose is taken inside the cell where it is converted to allolactose and allolactose usually in induces a conformational change in repressure so allolactose here acting as a inducer it is an example of an inducer because it activates this lack operon so this is a inducible operon okay. now what will happen if both glucose and lactose is present inside the cell obviously when both glucose and lactose are present inside the cell the cell will always prefer to utilize glucose in that case they will not be utilizing lactose therefore the lact operon is only expressed at high level when there is no glucose because when glucose will be present level of camp will be very low okay now just because the level of camp will be very low cap a catabolite activating protein catabolite gene activating protein will not be able to interact with this camp okay so when this cap and camps bind to each other then only this cap can bind to dna so when there is no camp this cap cannot bind to dna and and as a result of which when this cap will not bind to dna it will not allow the rna polymerase to bind to promoter and when there is no binding of rna polymerase to the promoter your lack operon will be turned off so cap and this camp complex is usually a positive regulator cap and camp complex they are the positive regulator of this lack operon okay they are the positive positive regulator of this lack operon and what will happen if there is a uh, low glucose and high lactose in that case in or what will happen if there is no glucose so in that case regulatory gene will encode its protein the the cap this will is cap and camp will be available so this cap and camp will bind with each other and will allow the transcription to occur because this cap camp will recruit this rna polymerase and transcription will be happen in that case here because lactose is present so again it it will your inactivate those repressor here it will inactivate repressor repressor will be inactivated again and because no glucose is present so cap cam cap and crp complex will act as a positive regulator okay so in that case we will see that your transcription of this zya is happening high concentration of glucose and no lactose there will be no transcription of lack operon because repressor binds to the lack operon will not move from there with that condition when there is both glucose and lactose are present lack operon will be activated there will be low level transcription will happen because presence of lactose will inactivate some of the repressor and low level of transcription of lack operon will occur in case when the, where there is no glucose and lactose uh, then no repressor will not be removed so your repressor if repressor will not be removed so that case your lack operon will be switched off and under condition when there is no glucose again no glucose means high camp available and if high camp is available okay if high camp is available this high camp will go and bind to this cap and both of them will go and switch on the lack operon again it, uh, the the lack toes will inactivate the repressor which will again stimulates the high transcription of lack operon so i hope you understand the concept 
please like and subscribe and if you have any problem you can comment or put your questions in here in the comment thank you